Hello, in this tutorial series, I'm going to cover how you can use Tinkercad in the classroom. Now, this first part of the tutorial series is just how to create the account. So your first step is to go to the Chrome browser on the Chromebook or at the laptop or PC you're using. Um, you can also open up a browser on an iPad as well and use Safari if you need to. Um, you want to go ahead and go to Google and sign in to Google with your GCSS account. Um, that's going to be your first step because we're going to use that account to create your Tinkercad account. And then in the top URL box, you're going to type in www.tinkercad.com. And when you type in tinkercad.com, hit enter. So now you're going to come to this screen um, and it's the home page for Tinkercad. And I'm going to advise you not to hit sign up, even if this is your first time, and go to where it says sign in. And then when you click sign in, do not put in your email or username or hit next. Go down to where it says or sign in using social providers. So I'm going to click in with social providers and I'm going to click Google. If this is your first time using the program, it's just going to ask you to select OK to agree for them to use your account and you will select agree. Um, I've already signed in, so it's not going to ask me that message and I've already have an account created. Okay, you are now in Tinkercad, and that is how you can create a Tinkercad account and get into the program. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you would use Tinkercad to teach the standards in the classroom or to give kids um, an opportunity to be creative and use Tinkercad to make things that represent or show knowledge of standards taught in the classroom or even invent new things um, and possibly 3D print them on your school 3D printer. Thank you so much for watching this short video.